guys and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite items from Sailrite. Um, I got my fabricator over a year ago and I love her to death. So I started investigating Sailrite a little bit further to see what kind of products that they offer. Now Sailrite is geared more towards um, like boating, awnings, um, more of canvasy, thicker materials is what the company I think originally started out with. But as more and more bag makers are finding the company, they're finding that um, it's a very great machine. <laughs> like, I love her <laughs> so much. Um, so anyway, I went on this site and I asked them if they had anything geared more towards bag makers or what kind of products that they offered because I want to be able to use this machine in the best capacity that I possibly can. So, very first thing we got to talk about is the fabricator itself. She is an amazing machine and if you want any more information about her, you can check out this video. I made an entire video about just kind of the basic stuff um, for the fabricator just so that you can kind of see how she works and the different things that she sews. Now she sews through some mountain kind of materials and I love her so much. So we're not going to talk about her a whole lot because I already have another video. The very first thing that we're going to talk about is a video I've done also recently about the left and the right um, zipper foot. Now I used just the regular foot on my sewing machine for a while for the zippers that I was putting in. However, they weren't getting as close as I possibly could. Um, and so they weren't turning out quite as good. So I went ahead and I purchased both the left and the right <laughs> because I didn't know what I needed. So check out this video if you want to find out more information and hopefully you can buy one of them instead of both of them. <laughs> so when I got the, the right foot, I had to think about it for a second. When I got the right foot, I noticed that my stitches towards my zipper were so much crisper, so much cleaner, and looked so much nicer by using a zipper foot. So my number two item is the zipper foot. Make sure that you grab one. They are totally worth the price. I believe they're only $19.99 a piece. I believe I will post a picture here. Um, but it's worth just spending a little extra money so that your items look a little bit better. My third item is the piping foot. Now, I use this very rarely. However, when I do use it, it looks really, really good. I'll show examples here of what I used with my regular foot versus using it with the piping foot. Uh, you can see night and day the difference in the two. Um, I highly recommend it. I noticed with a lot of my bags, if I added the piping to it, they just looked a lot nicer. And um, it's actually pretty easy to install. A lot of you guys were seriously concerned about me using a lighter for some of my stuff. Um, when you are using bonded nylon or bond bonded poly thread, you do have to burn the ends so that they don't unravel. They're, they're a whole different beast than using the, uh, the thread that you get at Hobby Lobby. So. Um, I asked Sale Right, and they, they are not sponsoring this video, by the way, but they did send me a couple of products uh, for you guys to see. Uh, the first one is going to be the thread burner. We were kind of looking around the site and saying, okay, well, what can bag makers use for what you've got on this site? And one of the things that uh, several of you guys recommended was the thread burner. So I've been using it for a little while. And let me, let me do a small comparison, okay? So this one I got from Amazon, if my camera will focus. Okay, so I got this one from Amazon and it's lasted me a couple of months, but the tip is acting all funky and wouldn't work anymore. So I've been trying to use this one. Now, um, Sailrite does send you a second tip because it, it's gonna get hot over and over and over again. She gets really, really hot. So, um, Okay, so this coming from the lady that uses a lighter, be very careful. So the tip does get pretty hot, and I believe that you can control, it would help if I turned it on. Okay. <laughs> there I am thinking the batteries are dead, and all I had to do was turn it on. Okay, anyway, so she does get very, very hot. Let me see if she'll do it. You see that? She's hot. So just be very, very careful with her. 
Um, she does burn really, really well. You just have to be really careful. I think if you knew what you were doing and not pushing it as hard, just kind of giving it a little, a little go. And it does have a light on there when it's, um, yeah, when it's going. So you can tell when the batteries are working and all that stuff, unless you're an idiot like me and don't look. So <laughs> anyway, such a great advertisement here. Okay, anyway, it is a really great tool. I've been using it for a little while now, and I like it. It's lasted me a lot longer than the one that I got from Amazon. Um, you do need three AA batteries for her, and it works really great. Again, it does come with an extra tip so that when that kind of burns out, you can have another one to replace it with. Um, so I really highly recommend this. Just, again, be careful because she gets hot. My number five item is the biggest one. Now, when I went to sale right, the very first thing I was looking for was not vinyl. However, I have looked all over creation. And when I say I have looked, I have looked everywhere trying to find a decent vinyl to be able to sew my bags with. And I have been to different companies. I have tried different things. <sighs> It's been a lot. Okay, so there's two different companies that I like getting my vinyl from. One of them is My Punk Broidery because I like now having the fabricator. If you've got a domestic, this probably isn't going to work for you. It might, but um, she's going to get thick depending upon what bag you're sewing. So I don't know if you can tell, but she's not super duper thick, but she's got that really nice backing and really nice texture. I love getting my pink from my my punk broidery. I can say it. Um, I love getting my vinyl from them because I know it's good quality. I have never had a problem with them. Um, shipping is fast and they're a really good company to get it from. The second one is um, Twisted Needle Textiles. Now I got some from them and their yardage is really great because they're like 56 by 36 if you get a yard. It was really really thick. So let me show you. I got some taco fabric because surprise, surprise, I don't do enough taco stuff. Um, but the texture on it was really nice and it's really thick. I do not think this stuff is domestic friendly. Um, I have not tried it, but my fabricator could get through it, but she was struggling. Depending upon how many layers you have to put together. So if you can see, like the texture in that was really really nice. I really liked it and I will be ordering from them again whenever they finally open up their pre-order. <laughs> hmm. um, now let's go to sale right. So I went briefly on their website and just kind of was looking around to see what their prices were um, and I hate buying things online that I've never been able to like touch with my hands. You know what I'm talking about. So I asked them if they could send me a sample pack and this one is their Eversoft Indoor Outdoor Vinyl. Um, so I would definitely say this is more like if you're doing seat cushions on a boat or something like that. Um, more for that. However, if you've been making bags for any amount of time, you know that that is the best stuff. <laughs> it's the best stuff for making bags. I have quite a few over there that I've got to work on that are kind of in that realm of material. Now, their stuff... Um, I should have I wanted to order some before I did the video so I could actually make something with it but it it is one of those that has like the soft backing it does have the texture and it's really really nice I will show you um, online some of the prices for this so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what their prices are gonna be uh, because there there was a gamut of different prices depending upon which finals that you wanted to get so there, there's, there's a difference. Now, do they have hot pink? No. Sale right. Hot pink. So here's, here's the choices that you come in your sample pack so that you can kind of see what you're looking at there. But on the inside, I really like the thickness. It's not super thick. But because of the soft backing, it's going to feel like butter. Even when you double it up, it's not super thick. And it's going to be like you're sewing with butter. So I am really excited to order some of this when I get back. Um, we are taking a small trip. But when I get back, I am really excited to be able to order some of this. I'm sad that there's not hot pink. But... <laughs> So if you're not sure and you want to kind of get your hands on some of the vinyl, I would ask and email them and see if they have a, a sample pack that you can order and that you can get your hands on. 
top five picks. I do have a wish list. Now, if anyone from Sailrite is watching, I have emailed Sailrite and been like, I love my table. I love her so much. She's perfect size on the left when I'm facing this machine. She's the perfect size on the left. She needs some storage on the right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I get these Ikea boxes all the time from the kitchen, <laughs> yes, the kitchen supplies. And they hold all of my little clips or all of my little tools. You can see them like right over there. You can see all of the ones that I have and I hold all of my stuff. There's just the screwdrivers on the right side of the desk. I would love to have some sort of drawer to be able to put some of my stuff in. Um, the drawer that comes with the desk um, is very small and there's not a whole lot you can put in it. So, Sailrite. The next thing on my wish list from Sailrite is I would like a bobbin holder. If you guys have a way that you keep your bobbins together, um, let me know down in the comment section below. I would really like to know if there's a way that you like to keep them organized so that they don't come unraveled or anything like that. Um, I have Typically, I put them in the small, small drawer that it comes with the desk, but I would love for Sailrite to come out with some sort of um, something to hold them in so that they don't unravel. That's my wish list. All right. So if you haven't checked out any of those items, you need, definitely need to check those out. So those are my top five picks from Sailrite, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up, or if you'd like to subscribe and hang around and see some of the other videos I have coming, I will be doing a lot of videos using my fabricator. So if you have a fabricator and you want to see it put into use more, let me know down in the comment section. I will be making more of these videos because she's my baby and I use her all the time. If you have any questions, comments, leave those in the comment section be down below. I do check those every day. Sometimes when you haven't got the machine yet, you do still have questions. If you guys have any questions about the machine or some of the uh, parts that I'm showing you, just let me know down in the comment section down below. Thanks for joining us again on FaithWorks Designs. Bye, guys. So eventually that metal is going to wear down. Um, but this thing, like, hold on, let's see. She gets hot. Let's see. Nope. Those are my top five picks from us. Uh, Jeez. She's not gonna show me. Oh, maybe I don't. Do I have the batteries in there wrong? It would help if I turned it on. Okay. <laughs> there I am thinking the batteries are dead, and all I had to do was turn it on. Okay. Anyway.